Yep, even more snow, more snow. That car might be buried here until June, huh? That's the way this is going. Hi, friends. Well, it is June, and the snow did finally melt. <laughs> Actually, it melted a little while ago. Things are pretty green now. And all the snapper turtles and box turtles and painted turtles, all kinds of turtles are coming up and laying their eggs now. And I got one over here somewhere. Oh, there she is. These aren't very friendly, so I'm not going to get too close. And she might want to take a snap at me. See, she don't, she's probably looking at me like, what are you, huh? Yeah, you're a young girl, aren't you? They get a lot bigger than that, but you, you'll get there. Don't have much to say this morning, huh? Didn't have her coffee yet. <laughs> Well, I'll go see what else I can find to make a video of here that is finally the, I think it's the second day of summer now. Spring's been wet and rainy, so things got really green. And a lot of mosquitoes and bugs and other stuff like that. It's quite a change from winter though, that's for sure. Well, I think I'm going to go get my coffee, and then I'll see if there's something else I can video. Bear and I decided to go for a walk. You got anything to say, Bear? Ah, uh, he's bored. He said, got to find something exciting to look at. Well, we went down by the creek here. And it's turned into a nice sunny day for now, but it'll probably rain again later. I hope this video is clear, because my... Lens kind of steamed up. It's like really humid today. And all the frogs and turtles and snakes and lizards and everything else are sure liking it. I'm sure Bigfoot down here is liking it too. <laughs> Water's starting to go down. It's still flowing through here into the swamps, but it was a lot higher. It's flowing all the way around this whole thing, making kind of an island out of the center there. But the animals like all the water. And the, surprisingly, the bugs aren't too bad right now. I, think, I don't know if you can hear the frogs in the background. They kind of quieted down once I started talking. There, he wants to walk around now and sniff some more. He follows all kinds of trails down here. Drags me all over the place. <laughs> Usually we come across some deer or something. Hopefully no bears, real bears. There was one spotted actually not that far from here. So they are around here, but they seem to stay to themselves for the most part. Don't go jumping in the water when you're hooked to me, bear. No, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> well, I'm going to go around and see what else we can discover here. We walk down here so much, you've got actual trails. And we keep walking the same trails, don't we, Bear? Huh? He found something now. Oh, <laughs> it's quick stops. Well, pause for a second here. Well, the bear's doing his thing here. Well, now that bear uh, did his business here in the woods, as they say. <laughs> now he was in a hurry to get back up the hill here and see what else he can discover. So we're going to do that. I think I'll pause here so everybody doesn't get <laughs> dizzy as I'm tripping over roots and stuff. We made it to the top of the hill, so that's pretty good. Nothing happening there. This is a nice view down this hill from this side. I don't know if the camera really does it justice, but I'll just take a little picture there. I 
Well, am, but he's in a hurry here. He's got somewhere to go. This is a pretty cool place here. Well, pine trees are growing like crazy with all the rain we've been having. And the turkeys come up here and dig around and scratch up here. A couple of turtles buried their eggs here on the sides of these hills. Well, we're still on the move here. Believe it or not, this is the same trails that I was take my snowblower and clear it out the snow in winter so we can walk out here. I wouldn't believe that we were over our knees deep in snow not that long ago. Oh, I'm being pulled. One here, bear's in a hurry, so hang on. Let's see where we're going next. He found something he's sniffing out here. The deer come through here a lot but then there's a lot of other different critters that run around here i don't think i ever made a video over on this trail this one comes out of the forest onto the road <laughs> if bear doesn't decide to always keep changing directions on me here now we're going back the other way nice and peaceful this morning Bear, you want to walk out by the road? Huh? We can do that. So we'll go this way for a while. Oh, well, he knows the, that word road, so he's in a hurry now. He likes to go out here every once in a while. I hope this isn't jumping around too much. <laughs> This bear is really in a hurry. Well, hang on, I gotta go under the wire here. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I get stuck on my ear. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Nice and quiet today. What Bear looks for out here is his friend, she used to live across the street and she used to come over here and play with him. Unfortunately, they had a bad house fire last year and a poor dog died. And Bear still keeps coming out here. And he's looking over there, waiting for her to come out. Now he's gonna check out different stuff over here. Of course, he has to water the trees every chance he gets. Okay, well, I'm going to pause for a minute until we get down to my driveway. Well, we're almost down to my driveway here. <laughs> They're snipping away for the turtles' nests up here. They, those turtles come up by the road here and bury their eggs. Whoops, here's what's left of one of the turtle's eggs. Looks like the possum or raccoon, something, decided to dig them up and eat them all. Well, that's kind of bad. I guess it's good for the guy that had lunch, but not good for the baby turtles. Well, there's usually a lot of nests, though. Well... Yeah, somebody did that, Bear. Yeah, come on. Come along. <clears throat> one of the big turtles, she went and buried her eggs. The one that was sitting in the driveway. Well, she came up here and decided not to go out by the road. So she started digging here. And then underneath this stuff, she buried a whole bunch of eggs. So what I did, 
I've made this little screen cover for it and that way the raccoons and possums won't dig the eggs up and then the little ones can crawl out of there. I'll check it every day and then I catch them and put them down in the swamp then once they hatch. Because there can be as many as 15 or 20 eggs in each nest. Um, and usually most of them would live if if they get the chance. I mean, they, they're pretty hardy little guys. They dig out of the ground and start walking all over the place like big ants. This is pretty cool. The flowers are growing really big again this year and a whole load opened up tonight, but a thunderstorm just passed through. So now they got kind of kind of wet, but they're still standing up. Lots of big flowers. I don't know how bright this will turn out because it's getting kind of dark out now. Then another round of the thunderstorm is coming through again too. It's been raining and storming a lot this year. Everything sure is green now from all the rain. And I got some more plants growing over here. This is my big thistle plant. <laughs> I make sure I cut the seed pods off before they let the seeds go. Or I'd have a, all kinds of them little thorn bushes all over the place. The sky is pretty dark up there now. I think it's moving through though. Well, I saw some lightning. Probably gonna get my camera lenses all wet. Probably won't come out too good. Well, anyhow. I was just thought I'd catch these flowers because there's a lot of them open tonight. There's lots of flowers growing over here too. And my little pond has got a lot of weeds. There was a bunch of frogs in there. I think they hop back out now. They come out and then they go back in the water. Anyway, there's a lot of different flowers growing here and a great weed patch too. <laughs> yeah. Well, the storm's coming back yeah, again. And a dark this direction too. I had a bumper crop of blackberries and red raspberries this year. The birds and the raccoons, and they just <laughs> flattened the whole thing out, and then now the plants are standing back up again. They like eating them, but they're taking over this whole side of the yard here. It started with just a few plants I planted, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe longer, and then they just grew and grew and spread and took over this whole side. Make a lot of berries, that's for sure. And I have a mulberry tree there. And the robins were really, and cardinals were really going after those. Man, it's kind of still right now and dark. It's not supposed to be this dark. It's pretty early in the evening. Well, I'm going to go back inside then before I get rained on and back outside again <laughs> it really just rained a little bit and the storm kind of moved on through so it's getting dark now though so I think I'm gonna call it a night and go watch some TV do something constructive like that <laughs> anyway um, thanks a lot for watching my video and I hope everybody's doing good I'll catch you later.